What up guys, welcome back. So today, the Google Pixel 6a is here. We're gonna take a look, just a quick unboxing video. We're gonna check it out, get a first impression, and then I'll drop a full review in a few weeks. This is the white colorway here. It does come in a sage and a black color as well. 6.1 inch display, but we'll go over the specs in a little bit. Let's crack this guy open and get our first look at Google's new device. So this is going to replace the 5A from last year. Very small and simple box, right? So don't expect too much inside of the box. Again, 6.1 inch display. And I think this is kind of the perfect size for a phone. And inside of the box, we do get the charging cable. Now USB-C to USB-C. We also get the dongle, which is always cool. So that is a USB-A to USB-C for the dongle. I do like that. And inside of here, what do we have here? This is going to be the user's manual, of course, just some paperwork. And then we get the SIM removal tool as well. So the Pixel 6a, look at that. It is a very good looking phone. The design from the 6 and the 6 Pro, it did grow on me. Last year I used the 6 Pro for a very, very long time. Now take a look at this device. Look how good this looks. The white version looks super clean on here. I like this a lot. So the branding here, we do have that camera bar. Now different camera sensors in here. We're going back to the old school. We're going back to the 5, the 5A, the 4A, the Pixel 4, the same cameras that were in those two 12 megapixel sensors and an eight megapixel on the front. Look how good that transition is here on the side of the phone to the black camera bar. Look how good that looks. We are back now with the Panda. I've always liked the black and white pixel phones, man. It just looks good and they do it right. And this is no different. I'm hyped up that I got the white version. So very nice, very clean and shout out to Google and Team Pixel for sending this out for me to check out and to make some content with. So we're gonna turn this guy on again, 6.1 inch display on here. Now the hole punch up here, very nice. Flat display, which you know I love. If you follow the channel, you know I need a flat display. I absolutely prefer a flat display. Now a little bit of a chin here on the bottom, but I love the size of this device already. This is a perfect one-handed phone. As far as size, well, I guess that depends on the size of your hand, but very nice. Now, Gorilla Glass 3 on the front. This does have the Tensor Chip 20 by 9 aspect ratio on here with a resolution of 2400 by 1080. So it is an OLED display, but it is also a 1080p display with 60 hertz refresh rate. Now, we'll, we'll talk about that in a future video. I'm not going to get into that at the moment. Now, one thing that Google did take out with this device is there is no headphone jack. The Pixel 5a did have a headphone jack, unfortunately did not carry over here to the 6a and no wireless charging. That is something that I will miss and it doesn't matter what phone or what price I pay. I am looking for wireless charging. I use wireless charging more than a cable. I have a wireless charger pretty much everywhere in my house, but it is what it is, right? The price on here, $449. So it is a very good price to start and to get your hand on a Pixel. And Pixels, you know, we'll see how the Tensor Chip does with this device and we'll move forward. I will be dropping a bunch of videos on this device moving forward and we'll see what happens. But let me know what you think of this. The Panda is back. The black and white, this transition here again from the side of the phone to the back all the way, look how good that looks with the white and the black. That is clean and I think it looks really nice. But drop some comments, let me know what you think. Now one thing I am happy about is this does get five years of software updates, just like the 6 and the 6 Pro and I'm sure the 7 and the 7 Pro, we do get five years of updates. So we'll see how this does handle it over time, how well it does with the Tensor Chip inside of it. I am looking forward to using this. The SIM will be going in this today. I'm gonna to look forward to taking some pics on here. We do get Night Sight on here. We do get the Magic Eraser, right? So some of the software inside of the camera that we got on the 6 Pro and the 6, it is included on here, even though we do have the older sensors, which still take great pics and probably still going to be a top contender for the best camera on a mid-range device, even though they're older sensors. So I'm looking forward to doing some cap camera comparisons on here. We'll do some case reviews also, see what kind of cases are out there for the 6A. But that's it guys, just a quick video, taking a look at the Panda. The Panda is back and I'm excited about it. Let me know what you think of this colorway. I dig it, I like it, I think it's clean. Let me know. 
But that's it, guys. I'll be back soon with a ton more content on this device. A bunch of headphones coming out, a bunch of earbuds coming out over the next month. So stay tuned. Hit that like button, drop a sub, and I'll be back soon. Peace.